Okay, we are with Miss Whitney McClintock, the world champion, and our newly re-signed number one woman in the world. Uh, first of all, thanks, Whit. Thanks for your commitment to Radar. And uh, you've been with us since the very beginning. You made the switch uh, when really we weren't even a company. And can you can you uh, speak about what that was like a little bit? Fantastic. And uh, as I said, you know, we, we've recommitted to each other. You've just signed a new contract, and it's like getting remarried or something, right? We're kind of renewing our vows, and uh, it's like we, maybe we should have a ceremony on the beach or something, huh? Yeah, maybe that'd be kind of romantic. <laughs> um, what, what, what changes do you think you've seen over the last five years? I mean, you've been through some new ski development and a couple, you know, we're, we're now on Strata, which is uh, – which is uh, your baby, and you've been skiing really well on it. Uh, what's it? Uh, what's the transition been like through the skis? Um, I loved the RS1 right from the beginning. I felt like that was a really great ski. Um, the transition to Strata was like seamless. It was something that, like, as soon as I got on the ski, I knew that I was going to ski really, really well on it. Um, I was in kind of a, a lull in my following and got on that ski and just like got kind of right back where I was. And so that right there, I just knew that this is going to be an awesome ski for me. And last season was great. Um, this season will be better. Fantastic. Looking forward to it. Okay, enough about Radar. More about Whitney. Congratulations on graduating from school. Uh, quite the accomplishment. I know you've been uh, really pleased to have that burden off your shoulder. And so you're already into a new business venture. So why don't you tell us a little bit about what you're up to right now? Very good. Well, we've been trying to do this interview for a week or so now. Uh, you're a really busy girl. So what's a, what's a normal day for you? What's, what, what's uh, the start to finish the way you're running your days right now in spring training? Nothing yet, huh? Going out there and skiing a couple sets, and then and then I have been hitting the gym in the evenings, but I need to get back in there in the morning to really live the boot camp life that we've been doing this week. This week has been awesome because it's got me back in the gym too in the morning. So. Practice what you preach, right? Just being able to focus 
um, go to the lake every day and not have anything else. Really, no other commitments. Hey, how, how does somebody, what's your uh, connection to H2O Boot Camp? How can somebody find more information on that? Uh, I have some information on my website. Um, my website's just written in um, Also, we have the Twitter, H2O Speed Boot Camp. And we've been tweeting a little bit, but mostly we've been tweeting at H2O Speed Boot Camp. So follow me on Twitter, Whit McClintock. Very good. Speaking of McClintock, obviously your family has deep roots in skiing. Uh, you're raised in, in quite the water ski family. How, how important is your family and what role do they play in your skiing now that, uh, now that you're the pro rather than uh, growing up in a family of pros? <laughs> Not as much butting heads as as uh, exactly. as the parent it's coach. Like bonding. Yeah. Like it's supposed to be like water skiing is all about family and bonding and being together, and that's what it has been now. It is good family time. What well, what about the rest of your support crew? Who's uh, who's making this happen for you? Um, definitely couldn't go a day of my life without Matt. He he uh, pulls me pretty much every set, other than when I'm skiing with my family right now. And um, I mean. No, no, that's okay. It's all right. No, it's good. So you're, you're, Matt. Obviously, I think we know that you, you know you and Matt are are, are definitely a team, and uh, he's been instrumental in your skiing. It's good. I think it's important that, that somebody has that person in their yeah. in their skiing that you 100% can rely on all the time. Definitely. So. That would be actually four eyes, though, right? That would be four. Yeah. Two sets of eyes. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> okay, you're, you've been really consistent the last couple of years, uh, and your title list is getting longer and longer. Uh, what would you say to date is the most favorite title that you've won?
Right on. Right on. Okay, now some fun questions. Uh, is skiing missing anything in your mind, or does skiing need anything right now? Um, it's kind of a loaded question. Yeah. Well, I think uh, radar is stepping it up a notch, aren't we, Sully? I'm trying. With our, our new campaign. So I think that, um, I think bringing fun back into it, I think it actually, I feel like some fun's coming back into it. But I think that there's a passion that maybe is lacking and and just the all-around commitment, um, which this is part of the reason why Matt and I are doing the boot camp because we want to bring that all-around passion back to the sport where people are dreaming, thinking about water skiing in the off-season. When they're, when they're training in the gym, we want them thinking about water skiing, not just about being fit. And that'll just become, like, make more all-around athletes who are dedicated to achieving bigger, better things. And I think that alone will bring more people into competition and continue the trend of loving it. Okay. And spreading it to the family, you know, like the familiness. I, I think I see a lot more people skiing again now and talking about, oh yeah, I love water skiing. I used to wait for it, but I'm starting to water ski again. And it's like that family, it's becoming more of a family so hopefully we are seeing that switch and that love coming back to water skiing. For sure, for sure. Okay, more positive question now. What's the best thing about skiing right now? Um, the best thing, I think, is just how awesome every, like, our, our top athletes are just, like, pushing the bar, you know? Like, that's what sport is all about. That's what competition is all about. And so pushing that envelope just a little bit further like we saw so many world records get broken last year and I'm excited to see that just continue to happen because that means that our sport is continuing to develop and it's continuing to be better and like obviously we're pushing harder and that's what we need to see okay what does Whitney do when she's not skiing or training for skiing Fantastic. Okay. A couple more. Describe the perfect day. Uh, the perfect day, honestly, is not having to work out, but going to the lake. I feel so at peace when I'm at the lake. Like, I've been stressed out and um, kind of crazy this week with boot camp. Not that it's a bad kind of stress, but just having that, that um, extra little bit of commitment in my life has been a little bit stressful. So when I'm at the lake, I'm so at peace, and I just don't worry about anything. So I think really just being at the lake and being in the boat, not necessarily even skiing, but just being at the lake, being in the boat, having nothing to worry about is such a wonderful thing for me. Like, I'm not the kind of girl who, oh, when I get a day off, I go to the beach. That's not me. <laughs> when I get a day off, I want to be at the lake and, like, just hang out and watch the skiers. And We have a bunch of athletes right now getting on the strata, and I love watching them get excited about running, like, new passes on it and getting excited about the new season. So, kind of stuff like that might be cheesy, but I really do love this sport a lot. <laughs> That's a good thing. One last question. Anybody you would like to thank? nothing 
nothing. I would be nothing in this sport without my family pushing me uh, from the time I was just a little girl. And then, obviously, finding Matt, and he's really, we've had our ups and downs, too. He pushes me just as hard as anybody ever would. And I know that he does it because he loves me, and he wants me to be the best. Um, and I will thank Radar for your awesome support and always wanting to make me um, step up to the next level, too. Um, I'm pretty excited about this new thing that we got going, this new relationship for the next year, and or however long. I mean, this is going to be a long relationship. It's not just this year. It's, it's forever, because you guys have been so awesome to me since five years. Is, how long has this company been going? Six it's years? Five years. Five years? Yeah. I, I haven't been let down yet, so I'm pretty pumped. Well, thank you. I'm glad we got to catch up. And we'll be seeing you soon. Bye-bye.